Hey, this is Reed Davis, and I'm at the Better Health and Wellness Center where for over 12 years I've been running some functional lab work on all the patients here. And that's how we help them get to the root cause or underlying condition instead of just treating the symptoms. So that seems to be what our patients want. You know, they're tired of taking drugs or uh, just buying a bunch of supplements and things. So for all these years, I've been running these functional labs, and it's really helped thousands and thousands of people. Now, the lab I want to tell you about today is the BioHealth 304 Intestinal Barrier Function Test. This is an amazing test. It looks at a part of the mucosal barrier. Now, you know the reason a dog can drink dirty water and not get sick is that mucosal barrier is there to protect. But it's also there to allow good things to come through when we're talking about the gut. You know, it has to let nutrition in, keep the bad stuff out. So we can actually take a look at this. There's these markers that are collected through saliva, secretory IgA, which tells us if there's an infection, you know, if it's real elevated, likely there's some pathogen that that person's responding to. But a very interesting thing happens when the gut is shutting down, when we actually have real malfunction in the gut, there won't be any secretory IgA, or it'll be very, very low. So there's some other markers on this test, IgA and IgM. These are combined antibodies to some groups of uh, antigens. Now, two of the groups are aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. So if we see those elevated, we know they've got an overgrowth of these bacteria. Now that can be treated. Or, just like with the secretory IgA, if those are real shut down, like there's nothing showing up, then very likely we're not presenting, we really have a weakened mucosal barrier. Now, so the same thing applies also to some other markers on this test. Dietary proteins. There's IgA and IgM antibodies to corn, eggs, soy, cow's milk, and gliadin. Now, gliadin and cow's milk and these things, you know, can be very, very devastating to certain people's guts. So here we find a way to really help them repair, rebuild, restore. Not just by, you know, avoiding these foods, but by actually looking at these antibodies, we can tell if the gut's responding appropriately and then use it as a guide for later on. We can see if our, if our uh, therapy has worked. Now, the exact same thing holds true for the yeast markers that are on this test. So there's IgA and IgM, to a group of yeasts. And if that's elevated, very likely we're looking at a yeast infection, some kind of overgrowth. And while these may just be very opportunistic uh, fungi, uh, you know, they need to probably to be knocked down. And then watch, you know, make sure. What we want to do is restore the function of this gut. So the person's then able to kind of hang on themselves, you know, uh, defend themselves. And I want to tell you where I use this test the most. When people have come in, or even myself, if I've been checking for pathology, you know, so many people, oh, I've already been checked. They've had H. pylori, been treated for it. They've had crypto or blasto or, you know, one of these parasites or bacterial, even yeast. And what, what's happening is they're still sick. I mean, they, they've seen two, three practitioners already. Now, what I think is not being done is we're not really looking at the gut function well enough. We're not looking at these markers that are so easy to do. And so we're really not healing that gut. And you know, we think if we've treated their pathology that, oh, that you're done. You should be fine now. And we simply see that that doesn't hold water, really. So if you want to learn more about this, you want to run the BioHealth 304 Intestinal Barrier Function Test. And let me help you with the interpretation. I'll be happy to do that. Just call BioHealth, and they'll put you on with me. And so that's how you're going to get to the underlying cause or condition instead of just treating symptoms. And if I can answer any questions for you, feel free to call, and we'll get you as much help as we can. Thank you.